I want to briefly show you how you can find a unique font for your logo design or any other graphic design projects you may have. If you visit dafont.com, and that's spelled D-A-F-O-N-T.com, you will have access to a number of truly amazing fonts broken down for you in very helpful categories. Depending on what kind of font you're looking for, whether it be foreign look, gothic, a basic font, or a script font, etc., etc., you'll be able to find it here on dafont.com. I'm going to use the example of someone looking for a script font, specifically something that looks handwritten. Narrow it down by just clicking on the category and the subcategory that you wish to use. What's great about dafont.com is you can type in your exact text and preview how it will look. So this is where you would type your business name, your name, or whatever brand you're trying to promote. I'm just going to type my first name as an example. You can narrow down how many fonts you want to show per page, and you can also decide on size and different things like that. What is most important for you if you're using this for business purposes, which is called commercial purposes, is that you actually click this more options link here. When you do that, the ones that are important for you to pay attention to are public domain, GPL, OFL. This means that they are fonts listed in the public domain, free for use in that sense. GPL, like general public license. This is important because it means that you're not going to owe royalties or something like that to the author of this particular font that you're about to download. You probably also will want to check free if you're looking for fonts that you don't have to pay for. Free for personal use clearly means that you can use it for personal purposes, but since we are using this for a logo design or another commercial project, you don't want to select that at this time. So anyway, you can come over here and press the submit button, and what's great is it will show you all the fonts that meet your criteria but it will show you how your business name or name will actually look once plugged in. So you can go through the many different options and kind of find what you like. Keep in mind you probably have pages and pages of results and you can navigate through the pages down here at the bottom. I'm going to show you how to narrow it down just a little bit further. If I really like this font for example, which I do, it's called Jenna Sue by Jenna Sue Design Co. I can click on the font for a little bit more information from the author usually. From this author you can see this note that says it's free for personal or commercial use. That's important to me since I'll be using it for a logo. She says that's right, free, 100%, free for any project, no need to ask permission. How great is Jenna Sue? That's awesome. When you found a font that you like, you can simply click download here and download it to your system or back on this font result page. You could click download there as well. You can also donate to the author if that option is available, which is super nice of you if you do download and use this font. Once you have downloaded the font, dafont.com's main homepage provides some great instructions on how to actually install the font. You can find those instructions right there. For more details, click how to install a font and then find your operating system to follow more specific instructions. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoy creating some custom graphics with your new font selections.